During the 1960 Eichmann trial in Jerusalem, Adolf Eichmann and his millions of subordinates were accused of acts of genocide and inhumane policies. Their defense was often based on obedience, that they were just following orders. This case got the interest of one Stanley Milgram. He's a psychologist from Yale University, and he wanted to investigate whether Germans in this trial could actually be obedient to the authority figures at the degree to which they explained. Can people really lose their humanity if an authority figure orders them to? Carry out their superior's orders and execute them if they are seen as authority figures? To answer these questions, Milgram conducted a series of experiments now famously known as the Milgram Experiments. He selected participants via newspaper advertisements for males who were willing to take part in a study of memory and learning. There were 40 males who signed up, all between the ages of 20 and 50, and their jobs ranged from unskilled to professional, but they were all paid a flat rate of $4.50 just to ensure that their decision wasn't based on money. The experimenter told them that their money was for them to keep and to use as they decided. The procedure was that the participants were paired with another person, and they drew lots to find out who would be the student and who would be the teacher. But the draw was made up so that the participant was always the teacher and the student was one of Milgram's confederates pretending to be a real participant. The student was taken into a room and has electrodes attached to his arms. The teacher and the experimenter went into a room next door and this room contained an electric shock generator with rows of switches marked from 15 volts, which is a slight shock to 375 volts, which is severe shock, even all the way up to 450 volts, which was marked with three X's. The generator was linked to the arm of the student through a cable, and then the experimenter told both that they were studying the impact of memory on learning. But the true aim of this experiment was to see just how far people would go in obeying an instruction if it involved harming another person, and how easily ordinary people could be influenced into committing atrocious and horrible things. Now, let's begin the experiment. The student who was faking the role was strapped to a chair with electrodes on the arms, as I said before. He is given a list of word pairs, and he has a few minutes to learn and memorize these pairs. For example, dog could be paired with blue, and apple could be paired with ball. After he has learned the list, the teacher, who is really the subject, will test him by naming a word and asking the student to recall the pair that it was associated with. So for example, the teacher would tell him, dog, then give four possible answers, and then the student would have to remember which one is correct. The teacher, who was actually the subject of this experiment, is then told to administer the electric shock every time the student makes a mistake. This increases in level each time that there is an incorrect answer. There were 30 switches on this shock generator, and as stated before, they ranged from 15 volts to 450. The student was instructed to mainly give the wrong answers, and for each of these wrong answers, the teacher gave an electric shock. If the teacher refused to administer an electric shock, the experimenter would give a series of orders to ensure that they would continue. There were four orders, and if one of them was not obeyed, then the experimenter would read out loud the next order, and so on. So, order number one, please continue. Order number two, the experiment requires you to continue. Order number three, it is absolutely essential that you continue. And order number four, you have no other choice but to continue. All of this creates a setting that gives the experimenter a place of authority for the subject who is the teacher so that they would execute his orders. And of course, the student is only faking the reactions as he was trained to for his role, to simulate being shocked. Now, I'm sure all of you are 
curious to know the result, but first, let's see some psychologist predictions when Stanley Milgram told them about his experiment. All of them, in fact, predicted that only a minority would go through to the end with the shock series. And the estimate was something between 0 and 3%. The result was totally unexpected. 65% or two-thirds of participants continued to administer shocks up to the highest level of 450 volts. And all the participants continued to at least 300, which is at the point of serious severe pain. Although the subjects heard the student agonizing, they continued when the authority figure would order them to. Milgram did more than one experiment. In fact, he carried out 18 variations of this study to investigate which factor plays a major role in people's obedience to authority. The conclusion? Ordinary people are likely to follow orders given by an authority figure, even to the extent of killing an innocent human being. People tend to obey orders from other people if they recognize that their authority is morally right or legally based. This response to legitimate authority is learned through a variety of situations, for example, in the family, school, the workplace, or in military services. This experiment reveals a lot about our nature. It explains everything from how mass executions are possible to how horrible policies have been established at workplaces. One person cannot reach such influence, but through people who perceive him or her as an authority figure, the words and orders will be carried through to subordinates and thus influence a greater number of people, potentially causing more harm and suffering in the process. For further documents and reading on the topic, check down in the description below. Thank you so much for watching to the end. And please don't forget to like this video and subscribe for more content like this in the future.